From the very beginning of our marriage, our commitment has always been to raise champions for God. Beginning with our firstborn son, Austin, I remember when Laura was pregnant, I laid hands on her and I said, God, help us to raise a champion for God. And uh, when we started our first church in Seattle, in, in the inner city of Seattle, I remember uh, hearing a friend of mine say, hey, it was, it's way easier to raise a child than it is to try to repair and fix a broken adult. And that just stuck with me. So from our very beginning, our commitment was to reach children and young people for Christ. And the Lord really helped us do that in Seattle. And then when God put it in our heart to move to Central Florida to plant City Church, we knew that we had to have enough. If we're gonna reach families and really raise the next generation, we we're gonna to have to reach children and youth. So when we moved to um, Central Florida, our boys were four years old and eight years old, actually three, three and seven when we first started. So from the very first day that we opened the church, we had a nursery. We had kids' church, even though there was only six or seven kids in it. And we had a youth group from day one because we didn't want to waste any time with our own kids yeah. or with the spiritual children that God was giving us. Any, any day wasted in raising them for the kingdom of God is a wasted day. God gave us a scripture, something that he, he said about Abraham. He said, I knew Abraham and I chose him, I singled him out because I knew that he would raise his children to follow and fear me. And then they in turn would be blessed and then they would be a blessing. Yeah, that's and that's great. how we feel it is our mandate. It is not just something that we want to do because it's a good idea. It's a mandate. God has chosen City God Church ideas. to reach and to raise young people for Him. So when we purchased the Orange Campus last year, we knew going into the uh, going into the property that it was really short and educational. We have an academy that's still located at our other campus, and and also just the ability to minister effectively to families here. Our are under the five, under a five age group, uh, our space is just, we're, you know, it's, we're out of room. It's completely maximized on Sunday mornings and on Wednesday nights for our impact and our ranger programs. We really need more space. From the time that we purchased the property, we have been in contact and in communication with the general contractor and uh, looking at designs and plans. And we feel like we've got a good structure and a good plan. It's gonna be a beautiful state-of-the-art facility. Uh, it'll be about 12,500 feet. It'll have 10 classrooms, fairly large classrooms. They'll be adequate for our, our academy, about 750 square feet per classroom. It'll, it'll also house the administration for the school. But also, the, really, the, the thing is it'll give us more room on Sunday mornings and Wednesday nights for our, for our church to be able to have a greater impact. So it's got a twofold purpose. It's got church, it's also got the school component to it. One of our core values is that we raise up the next generation which means that we intentionally pass on God's truth in relevant, appealing ways. And it really is all about raising. In fact, the name of the campaign that we're doing right now is Raise. We are raising funds to raise a building, to raise up the next generation. And that's why my wife and I are committed to champion this cause. We're committed to, to giving significantly. We're give, committed to praying. And uh, that's why I'm challenging you today, to champion this next generation to make an impact, to leave something that's gonna be lasting even beyond your life. Yeah. I believe today that as a church that we can make a difference, not only in our community, but around the world, because we are committed to raising the foundations of the next generation.